Big local school bonds on the ballot passed in one county, failed in another. And some districts said no to ACC annexation. KXAN's Aaron Cargile now with more on the education election results. Good afternoon. The largest bond package ever presented in the Eanes School District fails. Voters overwhelmingly shot down all three parts, totaling $149 million. Bond opponents called the bonds wasteful and inappropriate given the current economic climate. Fifty-seven percent were against Prop 1, which included technology upgrades and building maintenance. Prop 2 failed as well. Sixty-two percent against building a new elementary school and renovating other schools and Prop 3 rejected by the most voters. 66% said no to a student fitness center, swim center, and more parking. Now up to Georgetown, where voters passed a $137 million bond package that includes building two new schools and renovating existing campuses to keep up with growth. 60% voted for Prop 1. 63% said yes to Prop 2. Now on to the State Board of Education races. Incumbent Republican Ken Mercer holds on to his District 5, beating out Democrat Rebecca Bell Matero. And in District 10, Democrat Judy Jennings loses to Republican Marsha Farney. Farney wins with 56 percent of the vote. And results were split for Austin Community College annexation. ACC pledged to build a campus in nearly every school district that approves it. Looks like that will happen in the Hayes and Elgin school districts. But Bass Drop in San Marcos, both say no. The majority of voters there want to be part of their taxing territories. That is the latest on the education front. I'm Erin Cargile for KXAN Austin News. All right, Erin, thank you.